You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Queen Gaming. It's something on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you to let's play episode of Kibbleton U. So y'all, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now up for as little as five dollars. Y'all can help support the channel, get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server, and full access to upcoming not safe for work videos. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm, chain, you are up, and let's go. Who are we on? Oh, right there. Okay. All right. Sweat starts to form on the Doberman's forehead. I guess I need to have them check the AC as well. He, he tries to fan himself, but it doesn't seem to help. There's no doubt something strange is happening in the gym as the trainer starts tugging at his shirt. Are you okay? Yeah, just so warm. I'm feeling it. Oh, I'm feeling it too. Hmm. The muscular dog's expression changes to a look of hunger. Ha <laughs> ha. Fuck. This feels better than any pump before. Uh, Fortis, what are you doing? These damn clothes, they feel so tight. The Doberman grips the front of his now tight-fitting shirt and rips it apart in one powerful motion. Better, but not good enough. You watch in shock and awe as Fortis's muscular legs swell even larger. His gym shorts stretch to their limits to accommodate his enlarged thighs and even more ample bulge. Another swipe of his paw, he rips off the constricting garment, revealing the hulking, his hulking naked form. He cannot help but feel just as aroused at the, at the sight of such gratuitous muscles and ample yup. Oh, what's gotten into you? Don't worry about me. Be more concerned about what's about to get into you. The swelling behemoth reaches down and rips both your shirt and pants off in one swipe. The force of the swipe flips you around. Your clothes fall aside and you plop back onto the bench with a soft thud. But Fortis? Hmm, I like it when you say my name. He keeps growling, his pecs and shoulders widening. The dog's entire frame swells like your own body temperature. You're both covered in sweat and Fortis zooms over you with his massive body. Come here! The Doberman grabs your legs with his massive paws. He easily pulls you onto your back and slides your hips in position, into position at the end of the bench. Ha! You look so good with your legs spread like that! What are you- Ah! You cry out as he pulls you up and you can feel that enormous length of flesh brush- Oh, God. Fuck! I can't hold this heat back! You feel it too, don't you? Let's go wild! I... I don't know what to do. Can someone help me? I need to. I need adult supervision. I don't know what to do. Who am I? <laughs> um. Hmm. I'm curious if this will mess things up. Hmm. Let's uh disagree for now. Damn. No, we can't. This is too weird. We got to figure it out. Fortis growls and pulls himself off of you. Fuck! 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 He runs off into the locker room and you hear him panting and groaning. Meanwhile, you lose all consciousness in seconds. When you regain consciousness, you awaken fully dressed somehow, but your pants are a mess. Seems you have orgasm in your pants. Wait, huh? Fortis lies asleep on the floor in front of you, completely naked. It seems the part where he ripped off his clothes really did happen. Tattered pieces of clothing lie on the ground. Hmm. Hmm, water. Hmm. Definitely, uh, definitely baked wing gaming right now, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> you walk over to Fortis and shake him awake. Huh? W what happened? His eyes slowly open as he looks at you as dazed and confused as you are. I don't know. Fortis gets up and picks up his phone next to him. Man, it's already 10 p.m. Still, what happened? I didn't plan to have sex with you. Uh, not that I'm saying there isn't anything wrong with that. You look great, obviously. I get it. I'm not butthurt. Uh, don't worry. Just the, the smell, he gasped. The smell, did, did you remember that? Yeah, there was a sweet set that everything became hazy and I, I grew. I don't know if that really happened though, but what if it did? That power, it could be the strongest, biggest hound and hound dog in the world with that stuff. Really? If that thing really grew you, you want to use it on yourself? We're talking about some kind of chemical that made us want to have uncontrollable sex with each other. Sex is great. Uh, what if that... What if that could revolutionize medicine or bring world peace or something? Fortis puts a finger to his chin. Hmm, nah. I don't want to I don't want to do any of that. I just want to be the strongest. That ought to make my ex regret dumping me for that badger. Your ex. Hey, don't judge. We all got a reason. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do a uh, deeper voice for him. 
Hey, don't judge. We all got our reasons why we want things. More important at the moment, we need to find that stuff or who made it. I can't run a gym if everyone is going to rip out of their clothes. I don't think I can handle the lawsuits. You recall that you never actually grew or changed in any way physically. That's true, and how did it get into the gym in the first place? Do we need to report this to someone? Not yet. If the authorities get involved, whoever's involved will probably hightail it out of Kibbleton. You see any traces of that stuff here? You sniff the air. True enough, there's not a hint of a substance in the air. Whoever let loose those pheromones probably knew they would not leave anything le leave anything leading back to them. Alright, but I'll tell the club to keep an eye out. This might be another campus mystery we're dealing with. Campus campus mystery? I haven't heard that in a long time. I remember hunting down I remember hunting those down with my friends back in the days. Ah, oh, the memories. Your eyes wandered downward and you began to become self conscious of the coach's penis flopping out without a care. Um, I better head back. It's getting late. You do that. Stay safe, and I expect to see you around tomorrow. Can't just go to the gym once and forget about it. I'll look around myself. Ask the staff if anyone else has experienced this. Right, but please don't use that stuff on yourself if you find it. No promises, you sigh. Plus, I just realized our interview got cut off. All the more reason, then, for you to come for you to continue gymming. He looks around the gym. The barbells he threw knocked a hole into the wall. wall. Debris lies everywhere. I better get started on the cleaning. You need any help? Fortis waves you away. Nah, I got this. Besides, I want some time to figure out how to explain these damages to the university body. Hmm? Second now. Hmm. Fortis heads to the locker room and you hear him scream. Holy crap, what happened in here? I'm not sure if that was something that you, him, you and him caused. You leave the gym and return to the dorm. You come everywhere. Your body is overcome with tiredness, leaving you no time to think about what just happened to you. Hopefully you'll find out. Wednesday. What's your name? Wednesday. What's yours? I don't want to tell you. Hello, Peggy. <laughs> oh, I love that. After another day of classes, you're free to explore. Push it to the limit. I think the gym. Although you stop by the gym, the place is cl uh, closed. Uh, let's do the lounge. Galactic Games. You head to Galactic Games. It seems Kobu isn't here today. You spend a few hours exploring the games they have in the board section and head home when you're satisfied. Nothing left to do. You rest in your dorm. I think I'm gonna... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured this was gonna be the end of it. Let's do... Um, see if, what kind of other stuff there is. You knock on Professor Noxmare's door, but there's no answer. Perhaps he's in class or doing something else. Nothing else to do, you head back to relax and do your daily chores. Okay, let's do... Student Lounge. Oh! At Student Lounge, you bump into King. He appears exhausted as he slumps into his seat. Hey, King! Hmm? Oh, Neri, hey! You look bummed out. Did something happen? It's nothing big. I just bumped into some jerks yesterday. Kept me up all night worrying about how I could have handled it better. Oh, no, can I help in any way? Maybe report them? King shakes his head. No, no, I just need to figure out how to stand up for myself. I don't know. God, I thought that was way past, I was way past this issue. Hey, hey, take it easy. Maybe I can help you figure this out somehow. I'm not a therapist, but, you know, two heads are better than one, as they say. That's not always true. Maybe this is beyond me for now. Okay, just give me some time to study my feet. Okay, just give me some time to study my feelings. I'll let you know when I'm ready to explore this further. You nod. Oh, don't just stand there. Take a seat if you want to do some work. Except King's offering. You two end up just talking about the weather. At least to talking about the latest song by your favorite artist somehow. In the, the day, you head back to your dorm to rest. Yep. Save it right there. All right, y'all. I think that is it for now. Let's see. This is to be continued. King's... Oh, wow. A lot of stuff with King. Hmm. <laughs> Did you guys enjoy this side trip into an off? Okay, already, yeah, already done this. Okay. All right, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Um, I don't know if there's any more to do right now. I might want to wait until this is uh, updated a little bit more before I jump back into it, which is, I think, exactly what I'm going to do. So, if there's any other um, VNs I haven't played in a while that have gotten... Uh, hefty updates, y'all. Just uh, let me know. One that I haven't covered in a while. Anyway, 
Thank you. Uh, I want to thank. Go ahead and thank our uh, bronze tier patrons. Thank you all for all you do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you to our silver tier patron, Cade Silverman. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you to our gold tier patron, Amr. You're awesome. We love you. Thank you for submitting to your ultimate tier. Anyway, if y'all want to get your names in the credits, get access to not safe for work content as little as five dollars. Alrighty, I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.